For purchase analysis, you can also use more sophisticated tool, purchase analysis reports. With this, you define lines and columns by yourself. I will show you this on this example. If I edit this analysis report, I can use analysis line templates. In this case, I have my vendors. If I want to prepare new lines, I can use some vendor groups. I can use items. I can name it and choose it as I want. I will create new. I will take items. If I go to lines, system waits for the data. I can use some functions to insert the items. If I take all, system will put them in. Okay. And I will use analysis view we used in this lecture before to have the data from. Okay. Now I can change it to items here and show the matrix again. In the date filter, I will put some, some period to have some data in the items. As I said, we also are using columns layout. In this case, we use some purchase columns, standard purchase columns. We can very easy add some new lines. For example, for the previous previous month, in comparison date formula, I will put minus one M. In this case, system will calculate the values for this period. We don't have much data in the system, so, but in this case, that should work.